February 28, 2022 is a Monday. Welcome to your daily weather for the great city of Charlotte. Dress for cold. The temperature today should reach up to 56 degrees Fahrenheit and down to 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at 34%. You can expect no rain and no snow today. Not many clouds. We've got moderate wind at about 7 miles per hour. Tomorrow is going to be cold with broken clouds. Wednesday is going to be cold with clear sky. Thursday is going to be cold with broken clouds. Friday is going to be cold with overcast clouds. Saturday is going to be cold with overcast clouds. Sunday is going to be warm with moderate rain. Patchy dense fog across the eastern Piedmont of the Carolinas. Patchy dense fog dropping visibilities to a quarter mile or less. Has developed and will persist through the evening. Drier air will move in around midnight and the fog will begin to dissipate through the early morning hours. Allow extra travel time and stopping distance if traveling tonight. Use low beam headlights if you encounter fog. And now for the news. Warning, some news stories can be disturbing or offensive. Stories are provided by various sources. In our next story, New York man wins $10 million lottery for the second time in three years. A New York man defined lottery odds after winning $10 million from a scratch-off game, and it's the second time in three years he has won it. Next up, number four Louisville women trounce number 14 Irish in testy matchup. South Bend, Indiana. AP neither coach Jeff Walls nor starting guard Haley Van Lith expected an easy time Sunday when No. 4 L. Louisville visited No. In our next story, companies finalize $26 billion deal with states and cities to end opioid lawsuits. According to the agreements, a state will get its full allocation if all its local governments sign on to the deal. In other North Carolina news, FEMA maps hugely underestimate U.S. flood damage risk. Researchers have used artificial intelligence to predict where flood damage is likely to happen in the continental unite. D. States For our next story, USA Today's Richard Curtis, a visionary of visual storytelling, dies at 75. Richard Curtis, one of the original designers of the look and feel of USA Today, including the bold use of color photogar. A fee and graphics that revolutionized newspapers in the 1980s, died on Sunday. Wow, I have no opinion at all, but. Madison Cawthorn wannabe Bo Hines ridiculed over his big gun. Bo Hines shows off his weapon photo, Twitter a prospective GOP lawmaker faced widespread ridicule online this week over his latest campaign materials. Wow, I have no opinion at all, but John B. Cade's project to document the stories of the formerly enslaved punishments came on rainy days, reported Thomas Brown from South Carolina. That's it North Carolina. Have a good one. One. We're always working to improve our service, please subscribe to show support. See description for sources. This content contains information from OpenWeather TM, API, which is made available here under the Open Database License ODBL.